Hey guys, this is Fury 91. I'm talking about how seasons work and how they can really work for any game that has a heavy focus on multiplayer. Let's begin. Now, Call of Duty, we've seen seasons before. I believe it's Fortnite. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't play Fortnite that much, characters and stuff, but I don't really know how seasons improve that game. But Call of Duty seasons, what I really liked was that each season you got like maps for multiplayer, like new characters, you got some cosmetic stuff and stuff. But the thing I wanna focus on there is the maps because I don't know if you guys remember, I'm 31, I may be old, but like in the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which was Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, I believe, it actually made you pay. You'd get like DLC packs that came with, I believe, four maps. So the fact that you don't have to pay for any of these, I like these seasons. I like the fact that, yeah, they just have these seasons and they have like new maps like this season. We got four new maps, one for, one, I think it's just a ground war map. I think that's Verdansk River, but we got four new maps in this season. And let's face it, Warzone, has become like the developer's playground. I mean, look at this. Armored quads, where it's focusing on vehicle, vehicle combat. I mean, I mean the developers seem to just be playing around with Warzone. Like, this is only for a limited amount of time. But I digress. Seasons really work for multiplayer games, if, if they're free. I'm not sure if anyone charges for seasons, but I do like how, because seasons are like, they really keep the game fresh. Call of Duty Modern Warfare has been out for almost a year. And really, it's been kept fresh, I think, by seasons. I mean, 75 million players, in, in Warzone, I think that was like last month or the month before. That really shows that it's been kept fresh kind of by seasons because I don't think that people would still be like playing it on that level if it didn't have seasons. So I really think that seasons, as opposed to paid DLC for like new maps and whatnot, really do work. And I really th hope that other games and stuff kind of take this on. I know that Call of Duty didn't start it. I'm not sure which one did. I know Fortnite has seasons. I'm not sure exactly whether they were the first one to have seasons in this sense. I'm not talking about like seasons for The Walking Dead, but seasons like where as in updates into multiplayer and stuff like that. Because it just makes sense. It, it's kind of pro-consumer, I think, because all the updates are free. You don't have to pay for no extra maps or nothing like that. So yeah, I really think that seasons really work for like not all games and not even all multiplayer games, but like mu multiplayer games where multiplayer is like the heavy focus. I really think that those games, seasons, as opposed to paid DLC, will be the future. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think seasons will be the future for heavy multiplayer focused games? And do you prefer how these seasons have been working with these like heavily multiplayer focused games? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.